Hi guys, thank you so much for being here and I really do hope you're doing well. Today it's another wild walk. Again, I wanted to get out and do a wild camp or at least a day camp, but unfortunately the profession that I'm in means that I work a lot at Christmas time or in the season of uh, festivities. So I, I literally just don't have time to do that, but I can at least come out for a nice walk in nature. And I'm going to take this as an opportunity to talk to you guys um, as I walk through nature. It's just like I'm going, I guess, for a walk with my mate in the woods. So it's great to have you here. Oh, and it's great to nearly slip on my ass. Um, it's the downside of of the woodland um, at this time of year really is that it's so soggy. Um, particular bit of woodland that I'm in is um, is ancient woodland and it is quite hilly um, which means that when it gets wet it starts to get very very slippy very quickly this is quite a gnarly looking tree look at this it's quite a cool dude isn't he look at him I like it someone still managed to, uh, to put a bit of graffiti on him though just because that's what people do when they find nice things they claim it as theirs by either planting a flag in it or I don't know, peeing on it or something like that. Um, and I'm not going down this. I'm going to show you what I'm currently seeing. Uh, mini slip there. That is what I currently am contending with. And if I put on my little zoom function, you should see the footprints of the previous people that have tried. And um, I mean, I've never heard from them again. Hopefully someone has. They may have never made it. They just may have never made it. Right, guys, I'm gonna to have to find an alternative way around, so let me just survey for a second. I'm trying not to, with, the, with these outdoor wild walk videos, I'm trying not to, to be very selective about what I'm editing out. I'm gonna to try to keep it rolling as much as possible. There may be an occasional edit um, here and there, just if I waffle on about nothing particularly but um, but for the for the whole, I am going to try just to to give this as uh, a, a one go shot. Uh, whether that happens is uh, is another thing. Uh, thanks for the responses on the previous wild walk video. Really appreciate those. Um, look at this lovely bit of holly. It's gorgeous. Don't know if you can see it. If I put my coat there, you'll be able to see it. Massive holly bush. Um, holly very indicative of um, ancient woodland. So if you've got holly grown and it's everywhere in this woodland, you know you're in an old, old place. Oh, there we go, another slip. That time on a root, nice wet root. I think I'll go this way. Um, some kind of marker here as well. Uh, yeah, I'll carry on down this way. Um, yeah, so what's been going on with me? <laughs> busy, really, really busy. One of the things that I want to talk to you about today is something called geocaching. Now, geocaching is quite cool. If you've never come across it before, it's, um, it's essentially finding objects, like a treasure hunt essentially, it's finding objects that people have hidden in and around, in nature, in towns, in different locations all the way around the world. The scale of this is ridiculous. Like, if you go to geocaching.com, and click on the geocache map and then just scale out so you can see the atlas it's just covered and some of them even in the middle of the sea there's some deep sea divers that have got to uh, put some cheeky little objects uh, down and around in places so essentially what we have is um, you have a little container or a large container they can be huge uh, inside there's a log book your task is to find that container sign the log book um, now it's all it used to be happening sort of i think in the 70s where people would just buy some kind of gps device or they'd follow coordinates or follow clues these days it all happens with gps so the gps on, on a, an app on, on your phone your gps will get you a lot closer um, and then it's up to you whether you look at photographs that other people have posted or whether you simply um, follow the clues that the the um the person that created the cache, which is what they call the, the container, um, whether you want uh, to follow their clues. Um, and it's great fun. The biggest thing for me as someone who travels for, for work is that I go to a new location and instead of thinking, what's there good to do around here? I can get straight to finding a geocache. Normally the geocache 
um, information, has information about the location where you're in, um, historical location, really fun, interesting things. So, I'll just move through here. So, essentially, it's, um, it's a great way to find out about different localities and about... Uh, getting caught on all sorts of things here uh, about different localities and to to explore around you um, there are quite a few in nature as well in my local woodland someone has actually placed drilled out a twig a, th a thick twig and placed their little container inside of that twig which is pretty cool so that took me quite some time to find excuse me here oh. um, that took me quite some time to find, but I uh, find it I did, and I logged that cache. It's great fun. If you haven't tried it, if you haven't heard about it, really do have a look. I think the app was like next to nothing. I think it's, you know, I think for the year it was 20 quid, so 20 British pounds for anyone not familiar with the term quid. Um, and, and that's for like a year's worth of enjoyment. I mean, you, you spend more than that going to the cinema for an hour and a half, let alone this great tool that enables you to it, interact with your environment. It's quite nice. One of the other nice features about it, let me just twizzle the camera a bit, one of the nice features I find about it is that it creates an outside experience using something that people are constantly saying, the phone this is, your phone is keeping you indoors, is stopping people socialising. There's a massive community of people that do geocaching and it really does get you outdoors. So there's it blows that argument out of the water. Or is it the excep exception that makes the rule? So you, you, you let me know that, I don't know. But uh, I'm having great fun doing it. I'm not doing it right now, I'm talking to you guys right now. Um, have a look, go on. Um, you can get the free app as well. That's the other thing I was gonna say. You get the free app and the free app limits some of the geocaches that are around you but you still get to do the full experience and you can try it out for yourself it's very very fun something to do and um, as someone that enjoys the outdoors it can give you a reason to go to new places i went to a new uh, village a few weeks back just to get this particularly one cool geocache because the, there are different scales i won't bore you with all of those but um but um, yes, uh, I went to this new village just to get this geocache and found a completely new location, found a new woodland that I might want to go and check out and even do a camp in and uh, just found some very cool shops. So it, it actually instigates um, a widening of your, your physical experience, your mental experience because you've got to solve clues. It's, uh, it's almost like a, a little Krypton factor in itself. So it's very good and very cool. Right, guys, um, I'm going to sign off now just because I've got a few things that I, I want to come and do outside in the woodland. Um, I hope the festive season and is uh, treating you well, and I really do hope that if you're having some time off, that you just get outdoors for just a tiny bit, even for, for five minutes. Do you know what? I'm still not used to not looking at the camera constantly. It's really weird for me. Like I, I'm so used to looking directly into cameras and speaking into them. The fact that I'm looking where I'm walking... Uh, it's going to take some getting used to, but I am getting used to it slowly. Just like before, let me know if you have got any suggestions whatsoever for the videos that I'm going to make. I would love to hear from them. It'll take you 10 seconds in the comment section down there. 10 seconds for you, but really mean a lot to me. It means that the 10 hours of making each video um, actually has some relevance. So really just comment, just do it. If you don't, I hate you. Um, guys, until next time. Take care. Bye-bye now.